I have definitely not missed is the mud. Hey Mick! Hey Floofy! me and welcome to I want to say vlogmas but today is the 1st of December and I thought I'd do a lot more vlogging because I've literally just come back from Australia as you'd have seen I've just dumped my bag onto my bed I really need to unpack so that's probably gonna be the first thing I'm gonna do already this morning because we landed at 5 a.m. at Gatwick so I've been up for quite a while it's probably about almost nine o'clock now so this morning I literally got back in time to do the horses it was still dark so I fed all the animals let the chickens out so I still need to um, muck everybody out and clean all that but first I'm gonna get some washing on because I need to unpack my bag from Australia I've been gone for three weeks so I'm just so excited to be back with the animals reunited with them I was so happy to see them them. Um, so that's why I didn't vlog this morning just because I wanted to spend every sort of moment with them just like focusing on the animals so I'm gonna unpack my bag now because there is so much dirty washing that I need to put in the washing machine get that done but also I have lots of other things planned for today I think this afternoon because I'm slightly jet lagged because I slept on the plane the plane was 12 hours long from Hong Kong back to England and then before that I think I had another plane journey from Sydney to Hong Kong which is about 10-ish hours so I think I've probably been traveling for like the last three days because um we had like eight hours in Hong Kong where we were just waiting for our next flight and then before that we were actually on an island where we had to um get lots of different modes of transport to get there so I've been traveling for quite a bit so it's nice to kind of be home relaxed chills so i'm going to now go and unpack my bag because that really needs doing i'm not where i'm supposed to be i'm going in circles going in circles i should get away from here there's a better place for me better place for me so this is what the mess is kind of looking like on my bed. Thought I'd kind of show you the realities of being away for three weeks. So I'm probably the only person who um, went unpacking unpacks two saddle pads i think i might do like a mini sort of australia tack haul because i did get quite a few things while i was in adelaide just because they have really cool australian brands that you can't really get so much in england so um yeah i did a little bit of shopping which was good fun um so all of this stuff is the stuff that is clean because i did do a little bit of washing out there so i need to tidy all of this away now and um basically get everything sorted trying to play my symphony but there's so much noise around so much noise around constantly fighting for space i need to clear my mind need to clear my mind i wanna be empty be empty so I've just finished unpacking and if any of you guys are doing any travelling anytime soon I would 100% recommend getting some of these like little package sort of block kind of things because they help me keep all of the sort of clean stuff and dirty stuff organised so it means I've got less washing to do now but also it's just like it makes sure that your t-shirts don't get creased and they're just really useful so these have been so handy for all the travelling I've been doing but I'm not actually doing any more travelling until next year probably not until like April so I'm gonna pack these away put these away in the loft put them in my bag and I'm just kind of happy like I enjoy the travelling so much but I'm kind of just really excited to just be at home spend time with the animals and make more vlogs like this 
Now I've finished unpacking and I'm feeling a little bit more organised. I'm going to get changed into some fresh sort of clothes, some riding clothes as well, because I'm going to go out to the animals, give them a bit of a clean out and organise everything of theirs. <laughs> now I've organised myself. And also I'm still wearing the stuff I travelled out in, so I'm not feeling the freshest. However, I did have a shower in Hong Kong because they had showers in the airport, which was so cool. Never done that before, so that was great fun. So yeah, time to get changed. <laughs> I've now had a little bit of a freshen up. I've got some new riding clothes on. I decided to go for the body warmer today just because I know that if I'm going to be mucking out, I'll probably get a little bit warmer so I didn't want to wear a full coat. But then it's also really cold outside. Well, it feels really cold for me. It's about three degrees C. So for me, that feels really cold because I've been in Australia where at one point it was 47 and it was just like... You felt like you were gonna melt and um, yeah I'm not very good with the heat so I'm kind of enjoying being back in the cold again I don't know how long that will last so yeah I've just got some I've got my sort of thicker warmer winter breeches on today and then I've sort of gone for the pale blue corn blue ice blue kind of theme matchy matchy like always <laughs> so yeah um i haven't showered yet <laughs> this might sound gross but because i'm mucking out i'm gonna get stinky doing that so i'm gonna shower once i've mucked out so that is the plan because it is the first of december and also because i kind of need to get myself out of the house even though i've just been traveling i feel like if i go out this afternoon i will stay more awake because i'm actually doing something because the worst thing for me this afternoon and evening will be to go to sleep because of the jet lag and i'm currently kind of on australia time hong kong time i don't know what time my brain is on um it kind of feels like it's early in the morning but also late at night at the same time very strange so i'm going out with my grandma i'm gonna do some christmas shopping to pick up some christmas decorations because it's the first of december getting that sort of christmasy spirit but also our house isn't like decorated at all for christmas and this is the um the first time in quite a few years that we're doing christmas at our house we usually go to my auntie and uncles so i really want to make it all sort of festive and also i kind of want to redecorate my bedroom as well because at the moment my room's sort of decorated so it's very autumnal for example we've got a pumpkin there and also I've gone for this sort of yellow and orange theme which I kind of had over the summer and over the autumn um, but for December and being Christmas I kind of want to get like a Christmas bed sheet because again we're at Christmas at our house this year which usually we aren't so that'll be really nice to kind of make it all festive in here as well I'm now right down the bottom of the field where the horses are because they're currently in their winter paddock. As you can see there is a lot of grass in here so they get a few hours a day in here and they go back in their normal paddock or their kind of summer paddock where the stables are just because there isn't much grass and as you can see Casper is very much enjoying that. It's also very muddy at the moment hence why Casper is caked in mud. But also since I've been away it feels really weird. It feels like I kind of have missed half of winter and missed the majority of autumn because I've been traveling and things so it feels like I've literally gone from summer straight into the middle of winter so yeah it feels really kind of strange because all of the all of the trees have lost their leaves and things there are only a few left but Casper has been very well looked after while I've been away yeah he's been he's been ridden about three-ish times a week so twice by my friend Ella and then once a week by my instructor who's done like dressage and flat work with him and Ella's been jumping him and doing some, a lot of hacking as well which apparently he's very much enjoyed so he's been very well looked after and well exercised while I've been travelling which has been great yeah should we go and see Mix? he's like no that was so sassy he was like no don't go and look at Mickey look at me so Mickey is doing very well at the moment, aren't you Mick? Again, he's pretty muddy as well. They're in kind of their like matching rugs at the moment. So from the bottom of the field, you kind of have to look a bit more to spot who's who, but you can kind of tell because this little guy is a little bit smaller and floofier. Hey fluffy boy. I've literally come back and they look like polar bears. Like Mickey is so fluffy. Hey hairy man. But yeah, everybody's been asking how he's doing. He's been doing a lot better. He actually had a blood test the other day from the vets just to check his levels. I'll let you know how he's doing. But yeah, in himself, he's doing very well. As you can see, he's just happy little guy having some grass at the moment. Hey Mick. Hey Floofy. 
So I'm going to leave these guys to have their grass and enjoy their time in the big field. And I'm going to go and do some mucking. One thing I have definitely not missed is the mud. So anyway, oh my gosh, look at the mud coming off them. Now that they're dirty, it's time to clean out Caspi's stable. Talk. First call with the brakes off, we don't need to see that far Yeah, I see you're a hot thing, I know I'm an option It ain't gonna break my heart We can make a plan instead of talking We could check the vibe up in the room Just saying I'm not one to just talk, babe So tell me out Casper and Mickey's stable. I had to actually share a sh shaving sort of block between them so they had half each because you actually run out of shavings so probably need to go and get some more but also Mickey had quite a bit of wet in his stable. He must have had a big wee last night. You can kind of see the difference in colour. You can see where he's <laughs> weed but I think it's because like it didn't look on camera and it didn't really look off camera either, like there was much wetness there, it looked like he had pretty fresh shavings. Yeah, he's got a nice fluffy bed of shavings, so now the horses are done, time to go onto the donkeys. Also, my friends who have been looking after the animals while I've been away have very kindly made so many hay nets for me. So this evening when I do the night checks and give everybody their hay nets, they're already made, so that is just absolutely amazing, that has made my day. Hey donkeys! <laughs> Hi Toby! got some shavings mane going on there. Hey boy, you're all fluffy. Yeah, you're like a little woolly mammoth. Yeah, I forgot how long your guys' ears are. They're all fluffy as well. Oh. Then we've got Bruno and then Willow at the back as well. So, little donkey update. They're all doing very well. They're loving their new stable. Hey. So now I've come up to the donks and it's time to muck them out. I probably won't do a time lapse, but I might do like a little before and after of their stable just because I feel like you've probably had enough of time lapses of me mucking out for one vlog. Hey Wills. Hello. Are you all fluffy as well? Oh, love you. This is the before of the donkey stable and it definitely looks like I've got my work cut out today. They have left a lovely big mess for me this morning, so I've got some poos to pick up. I've also got a lot of hay that I need to pick up as well because the donkeys eat their hay nets a lot slower, so we've recently been using sort of the ones with the bigger holes. But the only problem with that is, is that the hay gets absolutely everywhere. So time to tidy this place up. I've now finished mucking out the donkey stable. I've just sort of done a quick skip out. So I've removed all the poos and the wetness. It doesn't look the prettiest because obviously I don't have a sweeping brush up here. And they're literally just going to come in and mess up the shavings anyway. But 
I think I've done a pretty good job with the whole hay situation so it's definitely looking a lot better and it's all nice and clean for them. Lastly I need to clean out the chickens so Snickers has come and joined me to come and watch while I clean them out. It's also so muddy here. I think they've been secretly enjoying the mud though because they've been able to scratch up and get loads of worms and things. How many girlies? Yeah, so I'm now gonna clean them out. I've got my little box to put all the dirty sort of shavings and poop in. I've got a scrubber brush and some spray to clean. And then I've also got a whole box full of fresh straw. And then underneath there, I've got some shavings as well. Hi guys, so it's now the next day. So I went out to the garden center. I actually got a few things yesterday, afternoon, evening. It might sound a little bit strange, but I got myself a little poinsettia because they're just so festive and Christmassy and I got really excited about this little guy. So um, yeah, I think he's gonna look very cute in my room. I also got some other bits and bobs for my bedroom which is going to make it look so Christmassy so I can't wait to put everything up. I'm actually going to do that in a separate video sort of transforming my bedroom as I know so many of you guys have asked for like room tours and things so I thought that might be quite interesting to some of you um, but also last night when I got back one thing I've absolutely forgotten about the UK is that it gets dark so early. It was like four o'clock really dark so when I got back it was dark and I basically just went and did the horses did the evening checks that kind of thing um so I didn't vlog the rest of the day because I was also so exhausted from the jet lag so it was a really good thing I didn't ride yesterday because if I had it just would have been slightly dangerous because I was so tired so I went to bed at like I think it was like seven eight o'clock last night and I woke up about half seven today so I've had a good 12 hours of sleep so I'm feeling a lot better and I think I'm almost over the jet lag so I think I did pretty well last night with the whole sleeping situation so I thought to end this vlog I actually a few weeks back before I went traveling had a show jumping lesson with my instructor on Casper and we had a really good fun lesson um something we were actually working on is Casper I don't know why but there is this spooky corner that he just does doesn't like I think it's because there used to be pigs there or a horse walker there which you know he's not the biggest fan of so we're kind of working on that just getting a nice rhythm um, kept it small but technical that kind of thing um, just because back then we were kind of in inconsistent work he wasn't being ridden all the time so it was just to go out have some fun and yeah we, we, we had a great time so I thought I would do a little edit at the end of this video from that lesson because I didn't really know what video to put it in and I thought I'd make this video a little bit more interesting and longer by putting in some riding clips so enjoy! Okay guys so I've now arrived for my lesson we've got Casper in the back of the van at the moment so I just need to go out and get him tacked up and ready for our jumping lesson and I haven't had a lesson since March I think so it's been a while so we might be a little bit rusty but I am super excited and can't wait so let's go! Just a kind of price that you gotta pay 
Okay everybody, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Also, the reason why I called this vlog at the beginning kind of vlogmas is because I want to upload as much as I possibly can over the December period. However, obviously life can get in the way and I don't want to make promises that I can't keep. Also, every day of my life really isn't that interesting. Like, if it's really horrible weather and rainy, like it usually is in England, I'll usually spend that as an editing day, which obviously won't be as interesting to film. Also, it gets so dark so quickly, so you don't have that much daylight. So, for example, today, I'm actually going to be filming a groom tack up and ride with me, hopefully, this morning. So, obviously, I wouldn't be able to vlog much of that because that's going to be kind of like a main video. So, I still want to sort of post main videos and lots of different types of videos over the December period to make it sort of more interesting rather than just vlogs, which will probably get quite boring and repetitive. So, that's why it's kind of vlogmas. I am going to be vlogging as much as I can for you guys when I'm doing something interesting. Like, hopefully, the next couple of days, I'm going to take Casper out for a really long nice hack and trail ride so I'm going to be filming that for you guys and things like that so anyway I really hope you enjoyed today's video if you're new or haven't done so already please like and subscribe it really does help me out and I'll see you guys next time bye thanks for watching